Orin Park in the Mazda. Um, I am not very familiar with this track. Orin Park, I've only been here one other time, and never on uh, this uh, South Circuit. So that's brand new to me. And uh, when I first came out here for practice, I didn't even know where to go, where to turn. Um, I'm showing qualifying here, um, in case that interests you. I'll also have a uh, bookmark a chapter, that's what they call it on the video, if you want to skip it. Just great, go straight to green flag. But I had no idea where to go whenever I uh, first left the pits. I'm like, <laughs> it's driving in the wrong place. Um, not setting my uh, expectations too high. Not the greatest in the mods to begin with. I feel like my I rating is a little bit too high for my actual skill level at, at this point. Uh, there's some guys that are uh, lower I rating than me. I need to focus. <laughs> there are guys that are lower I rating than me that had much faster lap times okay. in practice. So uh, probably gonna lose some here today, but you know, I'll probably have a more accurate number. That's fine by me. Um, this is the rookie Mazda, if that wasn't clear. Um, pretty sure it's the same car, but you know, we run the free tracks. And the uh, reason for that is I just, you know, two things. First, I can't really uh, afford to be buying all these road tracks since uh, I'm primarily an oval guy. And I want to make sure I can afford those, because that's my main thing. One more lap. And uh, two, I feel like I still need to get better at road racing. I want to pace myself and make sure that I'm confident in my abilities before I start going into the higher series. Um, I'll still dabble in, uh, you know, the advanced Mazda series when it's available, and I have the track. But uh, I'm not, I'm not all that competitive. Um, still. Uh, just trying to get better. And you'll see that as my uh, queue time is not going to be too great here. Just trying to put a solid lap in. Um, halfway decent one. Keep it on the track. And that's going to be one of the main focuses of the race too. Just keep it on the track. Um, hmm. Alright. Let's see what we got. Probably Four last of the flag. running cars, I imagine. Um, not too far off a of sixth. And uh, second to last, and that guy might be on the lap still, so. Not surprised, like I said. My eye rating's a little bit higher than uh, probably should be at this point. And, of course, the un the, my unfamiliarity with this track is going to come into play. So, all right, we got uh, a good long wait until green flag. Since we're on a road course, we get eight minutes for qualifying. Um, let's see. I don't know if people typically do anything. I guess there's nothing to do with these cars. Yeah, you don't have anything with brake bias or whatever. Steering ratio. It shows how much I know about road racing in general. Um, for this fixed series. Um, let's see, my best time right now was a 46.7. So if I were able to get my best time, just r rally it off right there, I would have been uh, top five probably. But uh, that came in practice. I did about 30 minutes of practice uh, before this. And that was with uh, less fuel, warmer tires. And uh, I had the ability to really just sling it in there without worrying about going off course. So I was a little bit more fearless of a, of a lap. Whereas here, I just I didn't want to throw myself up the course and start getting X's before the race starts. Because uh, incidents in qualifying do count. I think they're one-fourth um, of what a normal point would be. So if you get a 4X in... Can you get a 4x in qualifying? I don't know. If you get, say, a 2x 
in qualifying. It's one fourth of that, so you get 0.5 of an X. And, uh, well, I don't want to keep my safety rating nice. Besides, you're not going very fast if you're running into walls now, are you? And your lap doesn't count either if you touch the wall or get any incidents. I, uh, I just put a lap down. Maybe these other guys will put a lap down too, or, you know, at least, uh, do the laps and we'll be able to get started a little sooner. But as of right now, it doesn't look like that's happening. They're uh, not doing any laps. So we'll wait it out. And I'll be uh, patient and uh, stay between, you know, stay on the concrete or asphalt or whatever this track's made out of. Stay out of the dirt, let's put it that way. Oran Park is in Australia, I believe, um, and they've just announced that they were adding a couple more Australian tracks. Um, can't remember off the top of my head. I'm not as familiar with road racing, so I couldn't. Uh, so I'm not like, oh wow, that track. <laughs> but uh, that's really cool for uh, Australian iRacers. I've heard them mention before that they wish they had a couple more of their local tracks on iRacing, and it sounds like they're getting it. So that's that's pretty cool. Southern uh, Circuit of Oran Park seems to be a, a shorter version of, I guess, the full course. That's why we kind of cut to the left when we come out of the pits there and just do part of the course. But, uh... Wow, we're, uh, we're about a full second off the fast guy. Fastest guy is out here. So, we'll see if uh, some guys battling it out end up off the course, heading face first in some sand. Maybe we'll pick up some spots. If I had to guess, we'll probably finish like 8th or something. Uh, unless they, uh, they keep it real clean, then we're probably going to finish near last, to be honest. But uh, I'll make some progress along the way. Learn the track a little bit better. I'm sure I'll be running pretty good times once I get into the rhythm of it. Maybe even set a be uh, best time. That'll be something to feel good about. And uh, we're almost there. 15 seconds. If anyone's even here, I'm sure plenty of people just skipped straight to green flag. If I could do that, that's what I would do. In fact, that would be a that would be a nice thing for iRacing Dad. Maybe like a button like right here that says uh, skip qualifying for the guys that uh, choose not to qualify. You can press it, and so we won't have to wait for them. And once everybody's either put their laps down or uh, hit that button, then we get to go. That'd be pretty nifty. Send that one to the suggestion bin. Definitely not the recycle bin. Right eye, <laughs> right eye racing. Definitely not. Hopefully everyone readies up and we can get going. Still working on my audio. I've been raising it and lowering it in my videos, trying to get it just right. Still trying to find that perfect balance. I'll uh, listen to how this one sounds and maybe adjust it just a little bit more to get it right. Hopefully this sounds pretty good though. The last race I did, I was a little too quiet compared to the uh, compared to all the other noise, unfortunately. But uh, so sorry about that. Working on it. I don't think we're ever gonna get <laughs> a super professional video out of me. Just uh, recording my races. It's fun to have an archive of what I'm what I'm doing, and you know, if something super cool happens, I'll have it on film, and I want to do it through iRacing's replay system. And it's been fun. I like uploading my videos, even if no one watches them. Feels like I'm uh, I'm doing something, <laughs> you know. All right, ready to 
to get going. These things are tortoises off of the line. You just full rev it and then shift into gear and you're still going to be crawling. Hopefully I don't get punted into turn one. And hopefully I don't punt anyone else. It's going to be tough. Alright, here we go. Green, green, green. Smashing. We're on the right. Three wide. Left side. Two we'll be wide. Up here, where it's safe. Stay on the right. Clear. Don't want to go too wide. Still alive for now. Got these new tires, so it's going to be a little harder to turn than one might expect. And uh, you can even get loose out of the corner. Believe it or not. Slow car ahead. Slow Cast car ahead. On the left. Go right. Go Don't right. hit me. Oh my lord. I was avoiding that, so I wasn't paying attention to my shift. But, uh, Still probably for the best we let a guy go. Clear on the left. Looks like there's checking up or something going on there. Guy off the course. Car on. Come back and hurt me, Clear. Please. Man, it just doesn't turn right off the start. Felt like I was putting so much wheel into it. Flat out through here. You can really dive it in here. Well, probably better if you take a better angle than I did. <laughs> There's probably a lot of things I could do better. Super slow here because they were trying to stay away from each other. We got the guy behind me uh, catching up. Race with him before he seems like a cool guy. Trying to give some space. Doubt I could ever make a pass. I have no confidence in my ability to do that. Uh, see, oh, is he damaged? Car right. Keep to the left. Clear. I think he might have hit me on the side there, but that was as far as over I could get. I think I handled that about as well as I could. I don't know if he was backing off or he has damage. I don't know. What exactly was happening there? But hey, that counts as a pass. Look at me. I said probably about to kill someone by accident. A little bit of distance behind us. That feels good. Make sure I can see my braking marker. I will not apologize for using driving line here. I'm in the rookie series. I need all the help I can get. And I know to use it as a general guide and not a rule book. I know how it works. Faster, but there's nowhere to pass right here. I don't know exactly where you're supposed to pass here. That corner's pretty scary. There's a cliff off the side, it feels like. You want to get as close as you can, not go off a cliff. Got ten left to go. Not trying to pass, but trying to scare, maybe. I don't like the fact that they're catching up behind. More chances for me to mess something up. Got 
through there pretty good. Do we gotta run? Are we gonna make a pass? Thank you. That's some uh, give and take racing. I appreciate that. Now I'll see if I have to do the same if a uh, red car behind me catches up. It's like pitch it in there too hard. Ooh, almost went, of course. It's not quite the, like the Formula V where if you get a tire off, then the car explodes and everyone around you dies. It's a little more reasonable and get back on course if you uh, compose yourself but I still don't recommend it kind of give a kick to the throttle help it turn a little bit that's always one of the big things with these cars one of the big struggles just get it to turn good I feel like I get through here pretty decently when I don't have someone in front of me to worry about where am I on the track right now my six six better than I thought I'd be this point but still gonna make the oh you see that in the rearview mirror that was someone overdriving it and almost destroying me that's just a case where a guys uh, missed his brake marker I don't think he's coming after me or anything I'm not sure how many times this uh, series has been here but I don't imagine it's very often because I sure haven't seen it before Unless I just happen to not race the weeks uh, they've had it here. And I've been doing this for about, uh, consistently, for about uh, a year, half a year, something like that. Don't know why this guy's looking off pace. He was really fast in practice. He might have damage. Don't know what's going on. Don't feel like I should be catching up to him. So, my only... The only thing I can think of is that he's got damage of some sort. There's no way I should be able to be <laughs> catching up to him, especially I'm not even running my fastest laps here. According to my delta bar. Yeah, he's down on speed. We should just out pull him here. All right. Five laps to go. Keep to the left. We've kept our Mazda clean. And that means that we were able to pass a guy we shouldn't have been able to. Now this guy behind me is a, the guy that overdrove it before, so that scares me a little bit. Once these uh, tires have been warmed up, kind of throw it around a little better. You can really just dive it into the corners. It's, it's pretty fun to drive. Yeah, he's faster than the let him go. Car on your left. Clear on the left. I'm uh, gonna need him to <laughs> use some room though. You're in fifth. Yes, friend, go ahead. Car on your left. Clear on the left. That better. But uh, it felt like you're so close to my quarter panel, and I don't want to turn into him. I can see he's got speed. Fighting him's just going to bring the guys behind me even closer to me. And hurt me in the long run. So if the guy's going to either eventually pass me or wreck into me while trying to pass me, I've got nothing to lose by just making it easy on him. 
and we will live to drive another day. Or another lap, at least. Back to sixth. Still better than I thought. And we're coming to near the end here. Just a couple more laps. Still don't think I've set a personal best lap yet this race. I haven't been able to look too often, but it's because I'm being careful. I can see certain corners I seem to make some gains, like it looks like I've gotten much better at turn one there. Looks like I lose some time through there, because it's kind of tricky at high speed. I know I must lose some time here, because you can really throw it in there if you're brave, but uh, I don't have that kind of confidence. White flag, one more left to go. And of course, right when I uh, start talking about it, look at that, best lap. I should be doing that at this point in the race, since there's less fuel in the car, and the tires are feeling good, nice and warm. So that should be the norm. Glad I got it done. Kind of messed that up a little bit. But uh, I think I'm safe behind me. And I'm thinking this guy's going to try to dive it on that guy based on his prior history. Maybe uh, we'll make a pass because of a wreck. Messed that up pretty good. They look like they negotiated that pretty well. Hell of a pass for a win there, Adam. Hey, that's pretty good. Awesome race. Great race, guys. Adam on Hyden, great race. Clean and nice. <laughs> good ride, dogs. Awesome job. All right, there's the chicken flag. Enjoy racing with you, guys. Thank you. Good job. Very good job. I Come on. Let me try this. I agree. That was a great race, guys. It was a ton of fun. Yeah, I've only just got back in all right, and then, um, yeah, it was, a, it was a good one. You don't always get uh, clean racing in these uh, series, so I'm very pleasantly surprised with how that went. That was a ton of fun. I enjoyed learning that track some more. I predicted eighth. I got sixth. Technically should have been fourth, but I established that. I didn't really expect that. So, directly in the middle of the field. Not a top five, but, you know. I like it. Having no experience with the track and getting a 0x 6th place and one of only three that was able to do that. Good stuff. I mean, <laughs> the fastest guys probably get the 1x by getting everything they can and only just barely being off course one time. So, it is what, that, it, is what it is in that regard, but... You know what? I'm happy. Let's see uh, the incidents. Some bumper action on turn one, lap one. It's gonna happen nine times out of ten, if not more. Oh, wow. Yeah, this guy was in first, huh? I remember he scared me a little bit because it looked like he was going to just drive right in front of everyone. That's, uh, that's unfortunate for him. See, I told you, he was clearly fast. That's why I let him go. He had uh, pole speed. So I knew it wasn't going to serve me well to just try to block him or anything. Anything stupid. He's got a lot of speed. And uh, he was leading the race. He just lost it. A little bit of wall. <laughs> Guys breaking their mirror, their side mirror. I learned a lot uh, from this guy in practice watching him race, but uh, 
Not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> was uh, that a lap car, maybe? Or is that the leader? I don't know. That was, uh, that was a leader. I guess uh, one guy just took it a lot harder than the other. Hard to say who was going the right speed, correct speed right there. You know, one guy was slow or one guy was taking it way too hard or something. Hard to tell for me. More diving. Highly doubt any of it's intentional. And then, is that it? That's the end of the race? Wow, that's it, huh? I really would have expected more, because that's the guy uh, messing about um, at the end. kind of want to see, go back and see that big dive where he almost took us out from, you know, downtown. When was that? Was that here? Or was that earlier than this? Maybe it was right there. And it just looked like he uh, came up super fast because of how he kind of appeared out of nowhere from my perspective. And all of a sudden he was right on my bumper because I'm pretty slow compared to he is how he is. So maybe that's when that was. And he didn't actually dive it in. Just surprised me. I'm thinking that was... Nope, never mind. There it was. <laughs> so he probably just missed his mark a little bit because he was focused on that guy. Yeah, that's what it was. Pretty impressive he was able to keep it on the track after missing his braking part point so hard. Let's see if we can hear. Hopefully I didn't ruin the audio. Hopefully we can hear how long he stays in it compared to the brake zone. Ooh, that's scary stuff. Yeah, I almost wonder if he was trying to do some like sort of slider, slider line to just clear the guy and then just went a little too far. Hard to say. But, uh, what I saw was a guy coming up on me real fast in my rear view. Objects and mirror closer than they appear. Yeah, here he comes. <laughs> Alright, well, we saw the incidents. Not too much to report on. And, uh, uh, finish I'm pretty happy with. So, thanks for watching. Hope it was, uh, entertaining for you. Have a good one.